just spotted this war cemetery as I was passing so I thought I'd better stop and have a look I can't pronounce it Pricky you something British Cemetery 1918 now it says 1918 but there is graves from the Second World War in here this is a really nice well kept cemetery a lot of the dead are around April 1918 uh, I'll have to check and see there's a big battle going on then lots of different regiments so I don't know what was going on maybe it was a big push or something I'll have to have a check let you know I must say, this is a lovely spot to rest in peace. This is another cemetery I spotted on my way. It's called, if I can pronounce it properly, Bapoon Post. Bapoon Post Military Cemetery. 1916 to 1918. Apparently, June 1916, the front line crossed right across here. And there was a big attack in the village down the road on the 1st of July so a lot of the people here are from that attack I reckon
And we are now on part of the Somme. There's a lot of fighting going on here. So there's going to be lots and lots of cemeteries scattered everywhere. And these are just some that I spot on the way. And again, every other grave is a soldier of the Great War, unknown soldier. There is quite a lot here at the back there. One, two, three, four, five, five in a row. I mean, the Battle of the Somme was a really bad battle, so I can understand why there's lots of unknown soldiers. I mean, a lot of the ages here are 18, 19, 21, 22, 19, one over there, 22, 19. I mean, a lot of these are just kids. Imagine kids are today at the same age, what they do. Times have changed. Change for the worse, I think. This plaque says, Bapum Post Military Cemetery. This cemetery, named after the local strong point, was used between June 1916 and January 1917 for frontline burials. It was in German hands for five months in 1918, and after the armistice, was used again for reburials from the battlegrounds. It contains the graves of 327 British, 64 Canadian, 18 Australian and one South African soldier. Now there's three gravestones here and on top of them it says known to be buried in the cemetery. That means there's no bodies here. What's happened is they, when they died they were buried but because this was still the front lines and there's still bombings and attacking going on, either the graves were blown up, dug up, or just lost. So they're here somewhere, but not here, if you know what I mean. But their spirits are here, with all their friends. And I've got lots of friends to keep them company in the afterlife. 